My friends Hey Harry and Felix Andre have done it again. Oh my god, I have some really good CC to show you. Brought to you by the creators of such wonderful things, such as these brownstone sets, the living room set, you might remember this garden set, all these kitchens. I'm sure you know them and you love them, but they have just come out with part one of their organic stuff pack, kind of inspired by Cottage Living. You know how I said part one? Uh, it's still a 78 piece set. Part one? You're gonna do more? Oh, I can't wait. So anyway, this set is mostly building stuff and the second part is gonna be furniture. So it has things like walls, floors, windows, doors, spandrels, columns, stuff like that. It's available for early access on Patreon right now. So I will of course link both of their Patreons, both of their websites, the download links, I'll give you it all. And it'll come out for everybody on September 6th. But it is my birthday and I want to play with it right now. So I'm, I'm gonna. I'm sure a lot of you know how to download CC by now. But if you didn't, if you open your documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then mods folder, I've got a couple thingies. I've got some extra folders and things in there. Yours will be empty. It'll look like this. You literally just drop the stuff in there. That's all it takes. So my new CC, I will simply drop in here. I'm gonna stick mine in the build CC folder. But that's all you need to do. Well, and then of course, enable CC in game. There's a setting you have to tick, but otherwise it'll work. And don't worry, I know there's some fear about downloading mods in case you're worried about getting like a virus or something. And that is possible, but if you're getting it from trusted creators and trusted sources, you'll be okay, I promise. And I will personally vouch for these two. They are trusted sources. I've met Harry in person. I promise she won't break your computer. I'm going Tenford on Bagley for this. It feels appropriate. Maybe Maybe I open up this lot. This is the one that Harry built. If you didn't know, all the lots in Cottage Living were built by Simmers, and Hey Harry actually built three of them, this one included. And then she went and made all this CC. <laughs> Her and Felix together make stuff as like a team, and this is one of many. I've made videos on all their stuff before, so I can link the playlist down below if you want to see more of their custom content, but for now... Let's take a look at some of the- oh my god, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of these things. So number one is this potted rose bush. Oh, okay, sorry. It's like these bushes, right? The debug ones, but in a little pot. Oh, when it comes in white and a lighter pink. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm so easily pleased. Look at how nice that is. Oh, I would use that everywhere. And it's cheap too. 25 simoleons. 525 simoleons. Oh, <laughs> Never mind, it's not cheap. I misread the price. Also, I don't have my headphones in. That's why I misread it. I was lacking one of my senses. Sometimes I forget I'm not wearing them and then I sell something and I'm like, why didn't I hear that? <laughs> why didn't I hear the ka-ching sound? Okay, we also have these shutters. <gasps> it's huge. Maybe this lot is not the right one to test this on. <laughs> Maybe I should go to an empty lot. Those just don't match this house. That's not a bad thing. It's just a different style, right? All right, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> So we have these barn door shutters. That looks so good. I love how it's like slightly off the wall and I like how they fit together. And then we have the taller ones too. It's so nice. <laughs> I love the texture of this wood. And it comes in so- wait, look! There's two different white swatches with different hardware on them. This- I love this kind of detail and custom content where you have like the silver hardware but also a black swatch if you want black hardware instead. It just- it makes like a world of a difference in your build. Do you know what I mean? It's like these little things that usually you just kind of have to ignore. Like, oh, oh well, there's black hardware on the door, but the, the sink is gold. Can't do anything about that. L you can! Look! Oh, it's so pretty. We also have all of these new windows, by the way. Oh my god, hang on. Let's take a look at this. Okay, we have- with the triangles. I'm not kidding. This is my dream. These windows right here. I've been daydreaming about for years. Oh my god, look at all the different heights of these too. Literally every base covered. The counter height ones, the full length for all three heights, the double wide ones. <laughs> every single option you could ever possibly dream of is right there. How much do they cost? 130? And then 260 for the doubles? That makes sense. That's a decent price I feel like. And the small ones are all 30. That feels appropriate. And then we have like these smaller traditional wooden windows. <gasps> oh my god, I love these. I didn't even look at swatches yet. I just got so distracted with my options that I, <laughs> I started started scrolling too fast. Oh, these are fancier, they're more expensive. 650. That window is so pretty. I love the detail of how they open. And on the back too, the detail of like the handle on the windows. I, I swear, I get so excited looking at CC packs because I think it's so fun to one, see how creative people can be, two, get new stuff. I mean, obviously <laughs> that's always fun. But it's also fun to see like how other people play the game and the kind of things they notice and care about. Cause to be honest with you, I probably would never have even thought about the handle on the windows. Like in my mind, they could be identical on the front and back and I like wouldn't even notice. So it's those small details that I just think are so cool. And then we have the round windows too. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. That's so much window. <laughs> 
$9.50. These are well priced, I think. Sometimes I think the windows and the sims are too cheap, which I'm not complaining about when I can make my starter homes, but it is nice to like have this window be more expensive than that one because um, I don't know if you noticed, but that is a lot more glass. Uh, excuse me, would you please direct your attention to these beautiful shutters? Look at how good that looks. Oh, I love this game. And then obviously we have all the doors and stuff too. Stable door closed, stable door open. <gasps> this is like making my day. That looks so good. Interior door, sliding barn door, smaller sliding barn door, front door. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I love the windows on it. There's a plain wood one. See the like amount of options you can get with the trim, without the trim. They all have all these swatches and they're all matching to all the windows, obviously. I love that green one. That looks so nice. Tall barn door, medium barn door. Oh my God, I'm out of space. Look at these giant sliding doors. Oh my gosh. One of my biggest pet peeves about sliding doors in The Sims is that they don't fit the wall. These fit the wall height, right? Like that's even with the wall height, the windows will match it. That's what it's supposed to look like. Full height sliding glass door. The ones that we have, like the base game sliding door, is not full height. If anything, the medium one is closer to full height for the small wall. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So if you wanted to have windows next to it, well, the windows are the wrong height. Like, how- that looks silly. <laughs> it doesn't look good. That is my biggest pet peeve. Even the ones from Eco Lifestyle are like that. They're like short and squatty and they do have a big one, but like all the sliding doors they make are small. Why? Why? This one is the right height, but it's a very specific style. Like I, and it's so wide. I just want to have a too wide one that fits. I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> There's so many options. Okay, we also have this smaller archway, taller archway. Those are nice arches. I love the detail, like the, the beveling on that. That is so pretty. Open barn door for both heights. That looks so nice. <laughs> what swatches do we have on that? Oh, the green looks so pretty. I love the wood texture too. And then obviously the big arches too for the inside. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. But imagine the barn doors on either side of this. They even snap correctly to like right there where they belong. That looks so cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, as far as other things go, we also have two fireplaces. This little wood-burning fireplace. Oh, that is cute. Oh, the like distressed metal on that too. We've got this little fireplace. That is really cute. 2,000 simoleons. This one is 1,420. <laughs> 2k is a good price. I respect that. I'd pay it for this. Oh, I love that color, that red brick. Yeah, the brick texture on these are so nice. They are so good at this. Like the wood textures and the stone textures, it always looks so nice. I, I cannot believe this is custom content. It looks like the Sims team made it. Maybe even better than that. I just realized I'm like glowing purple. I've got a, a light in front of my face that says Lil Simsy. Twitch sent me this. Um, I love it. It just, it makes me purple when I'm recording. <laughs> it's fine. We like it. It's worth it. All right. We also have some corbels. Trim center. <gasps> trim left. Trim right. Corner stones. The fact that you can just place it on the wall is so smart. Oh my God. Wait. Okay. Timber truss. <laughs> and all the different heights too. Oh my God. I have so many ideas. This may be my favorite CC pack I have ever downloaded. I have visions. Look at how nice this is. It's so realistic. <laughs> I'm gonna do a build with this today. I can see it already. Got some more stone options. Oh, look at that one. This is actually a dream come true for me. I'm not kidding. The wallpapers are amazing. We have a stone floor too. Oh, I am so excited right now. We've got wooden columns. Oh my God. Okay, so one of them has the trim, one of them doesn't. Those are really nice spandrels. I feel like spandrels are a silly thing to get this excited about, but I'm so impressed with these. Look how good that looks. The, just the little detail with like the little wooden pieces. I'm so impressed. I'm always impressed with Harry and Felix's stuff, but like this one I swear is my favorite so far. I keep looking at this door too, the open door. Okay, really simple house. There's new roof textures too, by the way. That is so nice. I'm getting distracted, I'm sorry. I can't. I just, I'm so excited. The new glass roofs too, for, perfect for greenhouses. Sorry, sorry, I'm, anyway, simple house. Imagine for one second, look at how cool this is. Putting the windows up into the top. Okay, now imagine this, right? With the trim in there, and then, and then you can do these yourself instead of waiting for the Sims to awkwardly auto place them. Oh my God, this is my favorite part. This by far, best part, made my day. This and the, the triangle windows 
made my day. Like, look at how good that looks. And then don't have to worry about it weirdly auto placing anywhere. You can just customize it. How much do these little cornerstones cost? 127. Oh, these are fancy cornerstones. <laughs> just think about how much detailing you can do with these little trim pieces. I'm going to have so much fun with this. This CC pack has genuinely like made my day, made my week. Harry and Felix always do this. I'm like giddy. <laughs> <laughs> I look at these things and I'm like, oh, this is the best day. I have so many ideas. So like I said, I will link their stuff down below, their Patreons, the download link, their Twitters, et everything will be listed for you. Please go follow them, support them. I cannot imagine how much time and effort this must have taken. I know I make videos like gushing about CC a lot, but major props to the modders of the Sims community because they really make this game. I'm just, I'm so grateful they exist. The level of creativity and talent is just amazing. So huge congratulations to you on all your success because this is just awesome. And let me know in the comments, should I make a speed build using this CC? I never use CC in my like builds that I post on YouTube because I usually try to make them things that like everybody can download, but maybe I'll break that and I'll make something with this. I really want to so bad. Let me know in the comments. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Oh, other thing, in the comments, what's your favorite item from this? Like, which of these little build tools stands out to you the most? Because for me, I really think it's those cornerstones. I'm really excited about those.